good morning. Feeling a little bit reflective this morning after yesterday's reading. I re listened to it last night because I record it all. And um, yeah, for a lot of the stuff that did make sense, there's stuff that didn't. But then I'm thinking perhaps it will come, you know, to pass and it will make sense eventually. There was one bit where she was saying about trees and he was showing lots of trees and me connecting with the earth barefoot, which is the sort of thing I'd do, but not what he'd do. But I'm thinking, I think I know what that's about. I think that's the sort of place that I want to get out here. So there's that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, he was really kicking up the butt to work, 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 which wasn't his thing. Um, and looking for gold and money, which wasn't his thing, it wasn't materialistic. But I do get the fact that he wants me to work, work, work and keep busy, busy, busy travelling and doing whatever I'm doing because otherwise I'm going to collapse in a heap. And he knows that. He knows me very, very well. So a little bit reflective on that. I'm feeling a little bit blah today. I don't know why. But it doesn't really matter. The other thing he'd said to her was that I need to just go inwards more and be inwards. So perhaps that is that I'm being busy, busy, busy and I'm not spending time to connect with me. Which perhaps that's what I need to do today is not so busy on here, not so busy reading, not so busy swimming. Perhaps just spend some time, just me, myself and I and just be. Um, we had a lovely tea last night. We had leftovers from the night before. A lovely beans and tacos, spicy beans and and. Tortilla, tortillas oh I can't even remember yeah. those crisp yeah, things exactly. nacho good. type things that's what we had and then after me saying I wasn't going to chase it around after those cicadas I got in the pool and there were two dead drowned now I've saved lots of things from this pool a couple of wasps beetles different things but I haven't seen any cicadas in there so there there was I was able to take a photo so yeah universe and Andy are definitely with me so photos coming up be back when I can today. Gonna be a little bit reflective, I think. So for six days I've been without my hearing aids because they weren't in here. I thought I'd left them on the side. Even thought maybe Karen's dogs had eaten them because it wouldn't be the first time I've had other dogs eat my hearing aids. In fact, they were private ones that would cost me £1,500 and of course the insurance didn't cover it because it didn't cover for pet chewing. So I was just sorting through. That's my broken sunglasses case. This is, I think they're comp old computer glasses. I've got so many glasses. This is my sunglasses case. And of course, it's just where you'd expect your hearing aids to be. <sighs> Today is a very reflective day, actually. Um... I just checked my emails and had a message from Emily on my last video saying she liked my reflections so I went on to say thank you and yesterday's video started playing and there was an orb dancing across the front of the screen which I think might actually be a reflection of the sun off of this maybe or something else I don't know I'm in and out of doubt right now I had um, a red dragonfly. I have a red dragonfly <laughs> flying around me today. And one came um, a day or so after my dragonfly experience, shall we say. And it flew around and it landed, but it didn't have its its tail up. And I kind of thought, is that not you? And then this dragonfly flew off and it flew back in with another one that came and landed in front of me with its tail up. And I kind of said to him, oh, is this you? Perhaps that's your new mate and your partner. And that's okay, that's absolutely fine. I don't mind that because you're in a different life now. And it was kind of strange that then yesterday, the spiritualist said that he'd, he'd be sending someone to me. Not in that way though, but a companion maybe. Not that I want a companion or anything right now. This dragonfly is flying around today. And apparently, um, I've just spoken to my daughter-in-law and my mother-in-law has also had a dragonfly visiting in her garden. So, and no water in her garden. Although she has put a bird bath in there um, in memory of Andy because he loved his birds. So this is the thing, spiritualists didn't mention anything about motorbikes. Anything about him wanting to get back to his birds, which was his reason to keep living. I know it was about me and he kept going for me and he did. And he wanted one more summer. And I said, what are you going to do that summer? He went, just spend it with you. But it would have been riding bikes too. Didn't mention any of that. So, but 
But do you know what? Even if that is all cocky pop, cocky pop, poppy cock, even <laughs> cocky pop. Um, I know he's with me. I I know. And I had such a deep spiritual connection with him in that last month. It was incredible. Um, and I know he's here. And I know he won't ever leave me. And no matter what you believe, I said the other day, our loved ones are always going to be right here. And right here. And that's what's important. Don't stress if you haven't got photos of them. You've got memories. You've got your photos up here. And that's where they'll always be. Look at that. Can you see that sun behind me? I was about to look at that sun behind me, but... That's not the sun behind me. I don't know what that is in the corner there, but that is the sun. It's 33 degrees today, and it's going to get up to about 38, 40. Hey! Oh, I'm going to go back in for another dip. Well, I find it easier this way when I'm talking to you. So I'm going to stay this way just for these bits and try and remember to do the landscape on the other bits. So we'll see. I'm bound to get confused as usual. I did do about five minutes of meditation. I have spent some time with my thoughts, but not as lot, not as much as I would have hoped, really. I've been packing my case for going to Fingerola tonight uh, for a week. I have um, contacted the lady whose villa we looked at yesterday and said I'm not going to go there because it's just too many steps. I've contacted somebody just down the road here and another person at a caravan site. Let's see if we can go Saturday or Sunday, so that would be good. Those pesky wasps that I was rescuing from the pool. Well, there was one I was eating there quite innocently. And I wasn't trying to rescue it or do anything. And it just could come down and bloody stung me. Mm, bugger. Never mind. <sighs> Perhaps that was Andy stinging his tail, giving me a kick up the butt do what I'm supposed to be doing but what am I supposed to be doing anything really I'm quite lucky to be in a position that I can go where I want when I want and do what I want obviously finances play a big part in it but you know freedom wise I I am free and um yeah yeah I am free and to do what what I want when I can as well when I can but a lot of my bodily stuff and that is up here and it's the power of the mind i know that's not the case for for all of us but we always have something to bring to the table there's always stuff we can do to help with our recovery um and recovery isn't about getting better it's not getting back to where we were it's about living the best each day with what we've got so i'm just about each day making the most of what we have right now right here in the today I have got another little project off the ground. I did start to write another little book, which I think I'm definitely going to come back here. That's going to be my, my thing, is to come back here and maybe write. Might not even bring the bike, I'll just come back and write.